With New Year's comes New Year's resolutions, and for many of us, it's the promise to get organized. So joining me right now is a professional organizer, Linda Chu. Thank you very much Thank for joining us. Me. Now, you've worked on this space right here. Yes. And this is the after, but this didn't look like this before. What did it look like? No, the homeowner carved out, like most people, a corner of their home for an office. It was cluttered with uh, all their CDs mm. and papers, photo albums. So it was a bit unsightly when they're entertaining. Now, how did you organize it? What we did is have the homeowner identify for us what were the primary use of this space, and a lot of it was work-related, yeah. and some of their children's videos for games as well as their reading books. So making it look neat and tidy had a lot to do with stuff like this. Absolutely. Storage. Yes. So introducing organizing products that basically hit a multitude of sin, so to speak. Yes, like and this. what we did is this try um, this great product, seagrass product, um, magazine holder, mm -hmm. and basically you can turn it around, still see the spines, but when not in use, you have a nice, clean, sleek look on a shelf. And you have a few other uh, uh, storage uh, spaces here. The, now this is for the children. Is, yes, this is for the children, all their books. So again, when they're not in use or when they're entertaining, they can all get hidden inside, spines up, so easy to Easy to access. find. I notice you also have something here for games and photos and labeling. I, I guess is very important. Yes, so part of determining what items the homeowner had, we determined that they had a selection of games. We also have a basket for just general music CDs as well, but labeling them like photo boxes, and these are just for game CDs. Same amount of stuff, but just in the proper place and easy More to find. Yeah. Now, this is just one of the trouble spots. The next one is right over here, and I'll let you lead the way. This was a, a big source of this organization for this family. Yeah. Tell me about it. This bookshelf was the entry point to the homeowner's home, and it was a catch-all for everything. Yeah. So everything got dumped in there at the end of the day. Keys, notes, letters. Exactly. Anything to do with school, laundry even. It just all got crammed into all the shelves and underneath um, the cover. So what did you do to organize this space? Again, we did a whole culling through, and the homeowner wanted to display books and have access to magazines. Which you kept the books here. Exactly. As well as creating, again, these holders. Again, all the magazines then are organized. So, again, you can see all the spines. Spine. But vertically, you have a nice clean look, again, on a shelf. Now, you also did a lot of work down here. Let's have a peek. As you see in the photo before, in the office area, um, all their office papers were all piled high. They yeah. were all flat, so you could not see them. You couldn't find anything. Now, you put those into an office area. Area and yes. you put the photos into photo albums. Exactly. So the photo albums are all vertical so they can come in and see all the spines again and then you'll be able to access the albums as you need them. That's the key. Not only having it organized but easy to access. Yes, absolutely. You also incorporate items like this mm -hmm. here. Now these are nice to look at as well as uh, useful. These are really fun. You saw in the office area a black photo box, but these are very nice novelty boxes in a kid's room or depending on the decoration in the home. It's a great way to add color and some fun into the space and yet have it be functional. And you can have this out. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. And we're going to move over to uh, one more organizational problem that you helped uh, this family work with. And you put a piece of furniture to good use for the entire family. Yes. Yeah. This is a reclaimed chest of drawers. It was going to get thrown away. One of the problems was kitchen counter, dining room table was the catch-all again for items. We helped the homeowner dedicate, reclaim this chest of drawers and dedicate each drawer for a family member. One so, for the kids. This, this one here is for one member of the family. Exactly. Another one for the um, mother and another one for the dad, for example. Now, why was this important? It was important to basically hide everything so that it wasn't out in unsightly and also gave them a dual function, multi-purpose use. So by changing the color and also changing the door pole handle, this can be nicely converted on entertainment side, but putting a runner. So it's got a, a multi-purpose function to it as well. Yeah. Now, before we go, people have a tough time getting rid of stuff emotionally. Yes. Why Emotional clutter. It's not about the physical attachment, it's really the emotional attachment that people yeah. have to their items. We have trouble letting go of these things, yes. and we have to resolve ourselves yes, with that. Absolutely. That's why come in very, very handy. Yes. Thank you very much, Thank Linda. You, she is a professional organizer. And remember, How To is a regular segment on Breakfast Television. If you have a problem or a situation you need a hand with, let us know at howto at citytv.com. We'll find out how to get it done and show you how to do it. I'm Bill Mantis. We'll see you next time.